What is up everybody? My name is Rico and I'd like to officially welcome everybody to the Soul Society Del Souls YouTube channel. On this channel, we're gonna be mainly focusing on the builds and progress of my two Del Souls, which are my 93S model, which I'm currently sitting in, as well as my 94S model that's sitting in front of me right now. But before we get into all the car stuff, let me introduce myself a little bit better. Uh, like I said, my name is Rico. I'm 21 years old. I live in a small city about an hour east of Los Angeles called Rialto. I do have a few different hobbies such as like fish keeping and aquariums and it goes all the way to stuff like Hondas. I have only really been in the Honda community or the Honda game for about a year, maybe coming on two years, but it hasn't been long, that's for sure. As you guys might realize throughout some of the videos that you'll eventually see on here, I don't know everything about Hondas and I definitely wouldn't even say I know a lot. Most of these videos that I'm going to be making are going to be experimental videos where I'll be learning as well as you guys will be learning, but more so the point will be that I'll make mistakes so that you guys don't have to. But for the time being, we're sitting here working on cars because we have three broken cars right now, none of them run, and we wanna have two super good running cars. So now that I've introduced myself a little bit better, let me go out, uh, I'll show you guys the white car first, which is uh, my beat piece of crap Del Sol, which I purchased for 100 bucks. I'll show you guys that one first. Uh, I'll go around the car, I'll tell you the plans for that car. Then I'll go over to my EJ6, which is a, another car that's kind of like a beater. It has a really nice motor in it, which is my B18C Type R swap, uh, tuned by the homie. CRX Frank is his Instagram name. If you guys want to give him a follow, uh, definitely hit him up when you need some tuning in the Inland Empire because the man gets down. Um, but yeah. I'll go show you guys the EJ6, uh, and then lastly, I'll show you guys around my 93 Del Sol S, which is uh, pretty much my pride and joy. It's the one that has most of my JDM parts and more of the the uncommon Del Sol parts that you won't see everywhere. Uh, so yeah, let's go around and I'll show you guys around a little bit. So ladies and gentlemen, this is my 1994 Del Sol S model. Uh, which is originally Captiva blue and it was painted over uh, this white. My plans for this car as of color are to keep it white but not this white. I'm going to strip everything down and it's going to get a fresh paint job as well as the engine bay. Uh, probably I'm going with champion white is what I'm thinking. Um, as far as the rest of the car on the outside, it's pretty much spotless. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it so far as dents and dings. There's really nothing, not even the quarter panels dented. Uh, the back here where the key goes into the uh, garnish piece will need to be replaced. The whole garnish will need to be replaced because they drilled out uh, the trunk keyhole there and they ruined that all. So we got that ricey little emblem there. We got this... Uh, this ricey little wing here uh, for ultimate downforces. Uh, and yeah, that's the rest of the outside of the car. Let's go into the inside so you guys can see how bad it is. Uh, open the doors up and we get to see this, this mess. So we've got a ripped driver's seat that's trash. That's gonna go in the trash soon. We've got a OEM steering wheel. We've got full dash at least. Um, we're missing the passenger seat as well as a bunch of like random things like speaker covers and that little thing that goes there. But um, yeah, that's what the interior looks like. Everything pretty much is gonna be getting an overhaul in this car when I get started. Uh, I'm gonna get new door panels. We're gonna get new door handles. We're gonna get new seats. We're gonna get a new carpet for it. We're gonna get uh, pretty much knew everything as far as the interior goes because it's it's disgusting in here from this window being down and rain falling in here um but yeah for this car we're gonna be putting the b18c type r swap into here uh just a few days ago me and my friend rudy took out this motor and transmission yeah as you can see uh, it does need a lot of work as far as pulling everything out of here i haven't really gotten around to it i still haven't even pulled the axles out because we couldn't get that axle nut loose uh, so we had to pull them out from the block end but yeah you guys will soon see a video come up of this del sol under the knife and getting the rest of the junk removed out from the engine bay 
But yeah, that's pretty much it for this car. Um, decent on the outside, as you guys can see. Trash on the inside, but what can you expect for a hundred bucks? Um, if you guys want to know any more things about this car, if you guys don't have any questions, um, just leave them in the comments and I'll definitely answer anything that you guys might want to ask me. Um, skip over this car for now and we'll go over to my 1998 Civic DX Coupe. Uh, it does have a 99 to 2000 front end conversion, uh, excluding the fenders. It still has the 96, 98 fenders, as you guys can see that it doesn't line up there. Um, but who cares about that? It's a visual. Uh, but yeah, this car, like I said, is tuned by my man Frank over at AF Tuning. Make sure you guys give him give him a call if you guys need anything from him, because he'll definitely help you out when it comes to your tuning needs. Um, this car was purchased for $1,200 with this beautiful swap that I'm about to show you guys. It's in here. Um, it was purchased from a good friend of mine, hence the amazing price that I got. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is my JDM B18C 98 spec Type R swap. Um, it's the B18C block with the B16 PR3-2 head. Um, I am missing that sexy oil cap out of the ITR. I don't know who took that. Only thing that's not stock on this car is this air intake here and these high, this high-end header here. I say header because a lot of people are going to correct me when I say these high-end headers. But that high-end header and the Mishimoto radiator. But I mean, I wouldn't even consider that when it comes to performance. The only thing I would consider is this header and intake. But that's... That's the motor that's going to be going into the Del Sol that was back there that I just showed you guys. That's pretty much my daily right now. When I say I have three cars that don't work, I mean this one's headlights are broken because my big ass got into the car one day and I accidentally broke off uh, the handle so that I can turn on my headlights and my blinkers. So yeah, there's that. Now that we've seen this car, uh... Let's go over to the Blue Del Sol so I can tell you guys a little bit about that one. So this is my Blue Del Sol and my last car that I own as well as the one that I was just sitting inside when I did the introduction to this video. Um, bumper looks pretty bad because it's like it's it's not on right now. I just have it sitting there so I don't get in trouble by my manager. But this car here was my first Del Sol it was my first manual transmission car. It was my first car that I ever worked on. It was the first car that I've been in an accident with and I actually decided to put some work into it and bring it back. Um, but yeah, this is the first car that I've actually felt worth like keeping after I beat the shit out of it and, and messed it up and made mistakes with it. This is the one that I've decided to keep and say that I'm gonna have it for a while. This car does have a carbon fiber hood it's an advan hood uh, it does have its little damages from an accident it was in on the last car um has a crack there has a crack over there focus but that will all be fixed by my hood bra that i have for this uh this car also does have jdm one piece headlights uh these are oem japanese uh one pieces and what else, let's see, it's, it's just gonna go from front to back with the special things on this car. Um, it's riding on function and form type two suspension. Uh, it's got skunk two camber kits on the front and the back. Um, let's go to the interior and I'll show you guys a little bit of that. Open up the door, regular gray door cards because it is a 93. Uh, eventually I will get the 97 black ones because uh, I already do have the black interior as far as uh, the speaker covers and the back bezel here um, it does have JDM uh, map lights in the door handles I just haven't wired them up and got in them working yet but it does have JDM map lights the USDM EG2 Del Sol 9k uh, red line cluster for this I do have as well the and JDM visors that are so well known for the Del Souls that everybody, this is kind of like the first thing that everybody gets when they go JDM. Has OEM 
zigzag floor mats that might not look like they're in perfect shape right now but these are in great shape i just need to get them cleaned up you can see that one looks pretty good um what else does this car have it has uh swap seats out of a 1997 del sol that i like i like these better the all blacks eventually i will be looking for some sir blues uh the jdm ones that have kind of like the confettis on them um and yeah i think that's that's maybe it for the interior we got, we got the map lights we've got these uh these wrinkle covers here because everybody knows that del sols get wrinkles in the door cards right here under here so i purchased these so that the door cards would look a lot neater and better um but yeah when it comes to the interior that's pretty much it except uh for the glass top this is probably one of my favorite things about this car and one of my favorite things about the del souls in general uh when i saw that there was a glass top for this car i pretty much went absolutely insane and obsessed over finding it i do also have an instagram where i follow a lot of the progress on this car if you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow it's at Beerus the fucking god. I am a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, so that is where that name came from. Uh, also, make sure you guys give Brad over at the Old Souls a follow. Uh, this guy's making waves with the Del Souls, and now everybody wants one. Everybody and their mom and everybody and their grandma want one. So, uh, shouts out to Brad for bringing back a little bit of the popularity to these cars. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this car. Uh, that's everything that's really special about this car um, Most of these nice special pieces such as these JDM one pieces and all that whatnot Will be going onto this white car Because this will be my weekend car my nice car my show car And I don't really want to have all these nice expensive parts on a car that might be hit by some jerk or non-insured driver on the road um, So yeah, most of these pieces will be going on there but this car will still be getting some love, such as paint and other parts that you guys will soon see. If you guys like what you've seen and heard so far with my little main junkyard I've got going on here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, and make sure you tell me in the comments what you'd like me to do so that you guys can enjoy these videos more. And uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys thought about it in general. Uh, this is Rico from Soul Society checking out. I'll see you guys next time, probably with the video uh, tearing down this engine bay a little bit better. But yeah, peace out, guys.